when I think I began to write poems when I had the feeling that um, my English language was speaking within my German language or interfering with my German language and my German language was interfering when I was speaking English. So when I was speaking English I developed the feeling um, and the sensation that I was always trying to say something different. So if I said good morning I had the feeling actually I was trying to say something different which I didn't know about. Or if somebody in Austria, far, uh, a farmer in, <coughs> in Austria said mais, meaning uh, the, the, the corn on the field, um, I also thought he was talking about, about mice, about moise. And um, when, I, um, when I was living in the United States, I heard people talk about their, about their aunt. Um, so I thought they had ants at home. But in England, these ants are called aunts. Tanten. Uh, so um, from this confusion between uh, mice, mouse, um, moise, ants and ants, um, from, from this confusion um, I began to write poems. I, th I thought uh, this might be useful. Um, to, to write poetry. Nietzsche once said, uh, if you look too uh, much into the abyss, the abyss will look back. Uh, when, you, when one reads it, when I read your poems, sometimes I have the feeling they're written out of this, a similar sensation. If you look at the word too long, it will actually stare back at you. Yes, but um, I in, uh, frequently I didn't, um, I, I didn't see an abyss um, I thought I heard laughter. So um, I think I may be s s uh, slightly closer to Shakespeare than to Nietzsche. Yeah. Um, the uh, poems in your first collection, Mens, uh, and in your second collection, Passim, um, seem to take language apart, but not in order to somehow was fancy uh, at the time uh, to deconstruct language uh, uh, as an empty exercise in, in lingual uh, authority. Uh, no, it's a matter to uh, more of trying to discover discover a, a different, another word, world, inside the word. Mm. Something opens up in these poems, something which uh, seems to be contained in language mm. without language really necessarily knowing about. Mm. Yes, now you now that you say um, the, the word de deconstruct or deconstruction, you um, these poems may not be deconstructing. I suddenly get the feeling they're dismantling. Not this uh, deconstructing is um, a very proud word, and maybe the the poems are simply dismantling um, um, the armor. And um, when you take away the armor, then you see this. Um, different world, or maybe um, you see a, um, a defenseless, or fenceless, without fences and without defenses, Some, something um, def def defenseless. <laughs>